Hey everyone, it's Savvy here, and today we are doing something that you all have asked me to do lots and lots of times, and today we are focusing our entire video on contouring, blending, and bronzing. It's coming towards the end of summer, but we are still going to keep our fresh summer glow and live our best lives. <laughs> so really cool products that we're going to be using today that I'm really excited about come with the EcoTools XO August box. So the theme for the August box is all right, let's do this, which, you know, sounds motivating for the beginning of the year, or actually the beginning of the school year, but I'm not in school anymore. That's just habit. <laughs> Going back, the theme is all right, let's do this. The two products we're gonna be using through this in the contouring we're gonna use, so this is the Travel Blender. I'm so excited for this. It comes, this is the blender, it's a gray one, which is new, but it comes in this case. So that way, whenever you're traveling, you can put it in there, or whenever you're just even putting it in your makeup bag, it won't get all over things, their makeup won't get on it. Super excited about this. We're gonna blend our face out with this, and then we're also going to be using this guy for the buffing it out. This one is called the Retractable Face Brush. So it has this really huge face on it that's super soft, but that closes inside of itself. So it stays clean, keeps everything condensed, and it keeps your brush safer for longer. Really excited about these, and let's get started. All right, so I just put the Travel Blender underneath the sink for a few minutes, give it a few squeezes, and you can see it's kinda, not doubled in size, it's definitely gotten a lot bigger, but it can still fit within the travel compactor, which makes me so excited. It's gonna stay so much cleaner, <gasps> bless it. So that's what this guy looks like. And just so you can see what the uh, retractable face brush is, once you take it out of the packaging, looks like this. Open it up, blam, pow. But we'll use that in a little bit. All right, to start it all off, we are going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I'm using the color 130, and I'm also using, this is the Dewy and Smooth, so it kind of gives it a little bit, I like the finish a little bit better than the matte version. I'm going to pour just a little bit on the end of this travel blender dot all over my face and blend it all in. All right, kind of after covering our entire face with the Maybelline Fit, we're gonna be using something that I've been using literally every day since, but kind of in different variations. We're gonna go deeper. I've been using the Smashbox Step-by-Step contour sticks. These are awesome. So these are the three. There's a little highlight, a medium, and then a darker one too. I'm going to be using all three of these. I'm really excited. First step, we're going to take the lighter one and kind of highlight those areas right above our brows and then on our nose as well. Then with the blender, blend it on up. With the medium color, we are now going to make a number three with our face and also on our nose as well, and then go underneath here so we get rid of that double chin in photographs so we will never have to have that. All right, now with that other side of it, we are going to blend it on up. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the deepest one, just right here. Not gonna go anything crazy with it because these colors, as you can tell, are pretty pigmented, which I really like. But at the same time, it's very easy to get carried away. All right, so now that we've done all of the foundation and all of the contour sticks, we are going to move on to the powder form of our life. All right, so with the retractable, brush, we're going to be taking a little bit of our translucent powder and baking our face slightly with it. We're going to be taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder per use. Take a little bit or a lot of it, tapping it off and then buffing it out.
So once you've kind of used it to bake, as you saw, I kind of baked my areas right underneath my jawline and right underneath my eye. And once we baked them, kind of let it sit, but then I also just kind of used a circular motion to kind of sweep it all away and buff it in a little bit more. With the same brush, we're going to be using our bronzer. And today we're going to be using the Butter Bronzer. I really like it, I've been using it for a few days now. I like it a lot, but we're gonna be taking just a side of this and again, buffing out and warming out the sides of our face. What I really like about this brush is that we literally get to buff into our face. And so I really feel like it's become an even contour and an even blending that still cuts my favorite kind when you can't really tell. Like maybe she's born with it or maybe she's, you know, bronzed herself to the heavens. <laughs> so next thing we're gonna do, just a really, I'm gonna buff a little bit more just cause I like the way it feels. We're gonna use a little bit of the highlighter with the same brush. Cause again, this is super easy on the go. We're gonna use Mary Lou Mayonizer. Taking it around the edge and just going a little bit on our cheekbones and on our nose. And we are done. We are bronzed and contoured to the heavens using just those two simple tools and a few tricks and a few steps along the way. This is what I do every single day. It's really quick, pretty easy, but I really like the coverage. It gives me a lot of coverage without looking too intense. I can still wear it every day. So thanks for tuning in. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe down here if you want to and let me know what other videos you guys like to see. So much love.